All right, this one's gonna be on pip. It is a Python package manager, and uh, it works on any distribution, uh, even Windows and Mac, because it's Python, and Python is cross-platform. You can use it on any distribution or different OS. I haven't tried on other OS, so I, I can't say if it really works really well. But on Linux here, how do you get this to work here? Uh, first thing you need to do is install the pip program. So open up your package manager and just search for pip, right? Um, it should be named something like this. So it's either python-pip or python2-pip. Uh, this one's for Python 3 and this one's for Python 2. Install them both and um, yeah, you'll need it for some applications that doesn't you know, have Python 3 or vice versa doesn't have Python 2. So install them both, uh, either using your software manager, whatever they want to call it nowadays, um, but your package manager basically. So you're familiar with apt-get, aptitude, or yum install or something like that. You'll get this down in probably like uh, five minutes or something like that. Right, so the thing is, the first thing you want to do is search for an application. So let's say, for example, we search for, um, so we do pip search, and let's search for that Spotify program that I talked about last time, which is called PMS, but we just type in Spotify here. Right, and this one's called uh, Poor Man Spotify. Uh, and we're gonna install this here. How do you do that? There's two ways to install. There's the root way, where it requires your password, and the other way is your um, normal user, or they call it local user. And that way, it's just putting it to your home folder. Now, the reason why you probably wouldn't want to install it at root is because you already have a package manager on your Linux distribution, and if, it, if you're installing a package from this pip here, and it has the same name or something like that, it might conflict with that or it might overwrite it or remove it or whatever it is, right? So that's why some cases you don't want to install as root, but it's up to you and I'll show you both installing as root and the normal user, okay? Anyways, let's do this as root first. So we do sudo pip and we're gonna do install and we're gonna install this poor man Spotify here. This is actually the newer version, so check it out if you know, you're still using the old one. So you do that, and we'll type in our password because we're installing as root. And there we go, it's done. And it saved it to user bin and then uh, PMS here. So that's the program name. So let's reload our shell here. And we're gonna type in PMS and it should work. So there you go, all right? And you can use PMS and all that, uh, but we'll get out of that. Let's get out of that here. Uh, so that's how you install, you know, packages from uh, the pip uh, installer or whatever. And you can search for anything else like pip, search, I don't know, torrents or something like that. And I'll search uh, torrents and stuff like that, right? Um, anything else here? So let's say later on you want to remove the, the thing. How do you do that? So you can do, let's say, sudo pip list, right? And this will list out all your Python programs. Now this one doesn't like recognize that you install this from the pip installer or your package manager. So you can see all these other uh, programs I have. These ones are actually from my Linux uh, package manager. And this one is from the pip installer, right? So it doesn't know the difference. So that's why I probably wouldn't recommend you do this as root, but nonetheless it's here. So you can see that we installed the poor man Spotify. Now let's say later on you want to remove it. You know, all you do is just uh, sudo pip and list here and it'll give you a list of whatever Python programs you have. And you want to remove this, it's pretty easy. You do sudo pip uninstall um, and then you type in this and you see that push enter and you see that you want to uninstall this and you just type in yes. So Y is for yes. And there you go, it's uninstalled it, right? Simple as that. Um, other things you might run into. Now I mentioned before that um, Python has two versions, you know, version two and version three. By default on my system, uh, to check if you want is you type in pip dash dash version. And you see that this one is uh, 1.4 or whatever. But the thing is this one is using Python 3.3, right? If I was using, um, on some other systems, it might be Python 2.7 or something like that. So it depends which one is your default. So, you know, that's how it is here. Uh, so pip and pip 
three is the same. So you show you here. All right. So these ones are the same. So basically, uh, this one is similar to this one. So that's why I don't have to type in pi, was that pip three here. Uh, as opposed to if you type in pip two dash dash version here, you can see that this one is using Python version two point seven. So you gotta know which Python version uh, to use also. And the reason for that is some of the programs on the PIP uh, website, uh, they use Python 2, right? So I'll show you an example uh, for this. So let's say, for example, we search for, what do we search for? Let's say search for Beats here, which I haven't talked about, but pretty cool program. So let's say you, I want to install this, right? Before we did was, um, we did sudo pip install and we will say install beats here. But you'll see that, let's say it's downloading and you see it says fail. And the reason for that is that uh, it's not using Python 3, it's using Python 2. So you wanna switch it to pip 2, all right? Or three, depending on which you know program it is. So if it fails, try pip two. If you're already using pip two, try pip three. Um, that's what I suggest. So if I do this, uh, it should work now. And there we go. It installs it, and you can use beats uh, if you wanted to, All right? So let's say beats, and we do like dash h for help. And there you go. You get the help page for beats here. Uh, and if you want to look for the list of that, you can do sudo pip2 this time, and then list. And you can see that beats should be in here. What is that? There you go, beats, right? So this is the list of our, our uh, applications that's installed for Python, so beats. And if you want to remove that, you can do sudo pip2 uninstall, and then beats. So you get the idea, hit yes, and that's pretty much how you would use um, you know the package manager there other things you can do um, what is that oh yeah let's say if you want to install this locally right uh, to your home folder so this is what you do here you do let's say for example we, we search for that uh, Spotify program again right uh, if you want to install this locally you do instead of using sudo you just type in pip um, install dash dash user right and this will tell it to go to your local home folder and you just type in uh, the program name now and this one will install it to your home home folder here local and bin and then uh, it's called PMS here now the, if you do it this way make sure you go into your bash RC or ZSHRC and set your default path to use this uh, folder, this local folder. And I'll show you that an example right now here. Is, where the hell is that? Um, EG, give me an example of how it looks like. Actually, I'll post it in the description too. So you can just copy and paste and put it into your, um, you know, your bash RC or ZSHRC or any uh, bash compatible, I think it should work. But uh, where the hell is that? Uh, yeah, there you go. This one here, right? This is to set your variables. So basically, what this one says is that if your directory uh, exists, so this if this directory exists, then it's gonna set your path here. Um, and the reason for this, you want to do this, is because that if you're installing locally, it's not gonna you know you don't have to create aliases for each uh, binary file, so you can actually type in like. PMS or beats or whatever it is. Um, so that's why this one avoids it. Hopefully I explained that right, but not really. Anyway, so post that in the description. Make sure you have that if you're installing it as a local user. If you're installing it as root, you don't need to do that, right? But the thing with root is that, um, you know, if there's an existing program that is named exactly what you're installing, it might conflict with it and it might overwrite it or erase it or whatever it is it does. So that's the, the problem there. So now that you have that, you can, you, know, you can actually type in just PMS and it'll still work because it's already uh, sourced it into your, um, your shell when you start it up. So PMS still works. 
And if you want to install the other one too, uh, what would you do before? We did this one before, right? So if I wanted to install beats, I can do pip2 because that one's in Python 2. And I can do install dash dash user and then beats, right? And this one, again, it will install it to my local uh, home folder, right? So you can see that it goes into, um, you know, our local here and bin folder. So that's that. And you can type in beats and it should work, I think. You see, I think I reload my show. Does it work? Beats? Oh, no, it's no. Yeah, there's no S. Beats. There you go. Um, so that's how it works there if you want to install it uh, either root or local other things you want to do so let's say in the future there's a new version and you want to update so to do that um, all you got to do is the same thing let's say for example what was that we just did we do okay let's say for example Spotify it's the same thing but if you want to upgrade you do a dash dash upgrade at the end and it will try to upgrade and say it's already updated so it doesn't need to uh, install anything else. Uh, anyways, that's how that works. I probably suggest you use this only if you can't find the packages already on your, uh, you know, your regular package manager and this is like the last resort or something like that, then do it by this way, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend you install it uh, using root. Just maybe using it locally as the you know the the normal user uh but i'm talking too long now anyways that's it for this one if you want to get help on more on pip you can do pip dash h and it'll give you more options which i haven't tried all the other options but you can see they have install uninstall and you can freeze the program it's kind of like holding the program i show you a list i didn't think i show you the show command but the show command is basically pip to show uh, beats and it'll show you the version and all that right anywho that is it for this one on python's package manager uh and, and you can search from it or if you want to search it from uh, the website uh you can do what was that it's called pippy and let's say for example we search for spotify it's basically downloading from um, this website here uh, which I'll link in the description, right? So you can see that everything that we searched for before, what did we search for before? You pip search Spotify. You can see that it's the same results, right? Same freaking results from here, mostly, if I spell it right. Anyways, that's it for that. Uh, go ahead and use it. That'll be it for this one.